Hey guys, welcome to our first video tutorial, and this is just an introduction part. I'm going to be going over a few pointers to help with recording sound effects for your games, animations, or whatever else. So, just a few pointers right here. Now, first of all, when recording a sound effect, there are a number of instruments you can use. Now, you can get some fancy microphones that have all the equipment and stuff, and you can get those. That's great. But a lot of people can't afford that. So, if you are one of the people who can't afford that, just like me, then what you can use is your simple, everyday smartphone. Now, I know both Apples and Androids have recording devices on their phones, so you can easily use those. Now, here are four tips that are going to help you with recording to make sure that your sound effects have the best quality. So here's number one. Be careful to avoid any background noise. When recording a sound effect, it's best to make sure that what you're recording is only what it's supposed to be. So it's good to avoid any background elements that you can. Now, one exception is just a fuzzy background noise, which shows up in most recordings. That can be cut out pretty easily. But for the most part, try to avoid any type of background noise that you can in your sound effects. All right, number two. When recording, be very careful to avoid wind in your sound effect. Wind can very easily ruin sound effects because mics pick it up so easily. So when recording, you might have to just wait until the wind stops blowing, or you can use your body to shield your microphone from the wind, or you can even use some type of windscreen that you can purchase. It's up to you. There are a lot of different ways, or you can turn away from the wind. There are a lot of different ways that you can avoid the wind, but it's very important to avoid it because it will ruin your sound effect otherwise. And number three. Try to get as close to the source of the noise as you can. This helps to cut out background noises, background fuzzy noise, and different things like that. So just get as close as you can. And it also helps to make sure that it's a little bit louder. It's good to have sound effects that are kind of loud than have them overly low. Because it's easier to turn the speakers down than to turn them up. And the audio is still not good. So just get as close to the source of the noise as you can without ruining your sound effect. And finally, number four, record a little bit of extra audio. This is an important step because often when recording audio, parts of the track are going to be ruined for certain reasons, background noises or wind might blow at a particular moment. So suppose you want a five second sound effect. It actually would be better to record 10 or 15 sound effects so that after you trim out the bad parts, there's still enough of the good parts left over. So just normally record a little bit of extra time. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and put this into action with a video. Alright, so we are in the woods. Wood, the woods is a good place. The abundance of sound effects. And I'm sure you can hear this one right here. So I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is op you're going to open up your voice recording. Thing, whatever it is this thing I got right here I'm using voice recorder so what I'm gonna do now tip number one no background noise tip number two no wind we're good so now I'm gonna get as close to the origin of the noise as I can like this get really close come here pick 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 and hit the record button Okay, so you notice I recorded almost 20 seconds of sound, and I hit that for a reason. The reason is because when I hit that, I ruined part of the sound effect. So you notice I recorded a lot, so I'm going to cut out the parts that were bad and keep the parts that were good. And so now, with that done, it's going to be like that. As close as you can to the noise, and I'm going to show you how to edit that audio to make it sound even better. So let's go to the computer, guys. Okay, guys, here I am on the computer, and this is actually my fourth time trying to record this part, so better work this time. So, one, one of the first things I want to say before I get into this is, if you're recording a sound, first of all, you're going to want to get it onto your computer. And you can do that by plugging up your phone to your computer, but I've had trouble doing that. So what I normally do is actually upload the sound to my Google Drive, and then downloading it from there. Or you can use Dropbox or Microsoft uh, OneDrive, I think it's called. Whatever online drive you use, or you could get an account today. Or... And, and actually, yeah, one thing, one other thing I want to say to you is 
I am going to be supplying this this same sound effect if you want to follow along exactly with me. It's your choice. You can use a different one though if you want to. But a link download link is in the video description. So once you get started. I'm using this program called Audacity. It's a great audio editing program, and I like using it because it's free and it's a very good program. So I'll give you a download link in the video description for that as well. So what we're going to do to open up our sound effect is go to File and click Open. And you're going to go to where your sound effect is and click on it. But I've actually found a better way that I just prefer more is using File Explorer, navigating to where your sound effect is, and just dragging it onto your screen. So when that's done you're gonna have this. So let's go ahead and play this and see what we've got. Okay, so you notice I recorded Do I really sound like that? Anyway, what if okay so Let's get started in editing this. So, we're going to have to do a couple of things with this. We're going to have to cut out some background noise, and we're also going to have to trim out some of the bad audio. So, but before we get into that, one thing I like to do generally every time before I edit the audio is just make it as loud as it can get. Because it's better to have very loud audio where you can just turn the speakers down than have audio that's too low. So I just generally prefer letting it be as loud as it can be so people can more easily use it. So to do that, just click right here to select the whole track, go to Effect, Amplify, and just click OK. You know it's not amplifying it that much. It can only amplify it as much as is allowed at the loudest part of the sound effect. So that can be kind of annoying sometimes, but it makes a little bit of sense. So everything is on the same noise scale. So now if we go ahead and hit play, we're going to look around for some bad parts that need some trimming. <laughs> So this part definitely needs to be cut out. There was an oink in the background, but it was too much covered by background noise, so it's not really usable. So we're going to cut out this part right here. So to do that, just click where you want to start and drag a box over all the area that you want to cut out. And when that's done, to cut it out, you're going to go look over here, and there's going to be a pair of scissors. It might not be right here. I might have. I think I might have repositioned it. I'm not sure. But wherever it is. Just go and find the scissors and click that cut button, and it will just trim that part out of it. Now, I kept a little silence here for one reason to help with cutting out some of the background noise, and we'll just get to that in a second. So let's just listen a little bit more, and we're just going to trim out some more of the bad audio to make this more professional. So we got a little bit of shuffling right here. So again, and if it helps, you can click on this tool right here in the magnifying glass and just zoom in. And so we're just going to trim that part out because it's shuffling. Then I'm just going to zoom back out. Click play. Okay, so there was... I like to get picky with my audio because I like to make my audio commercial quality if I can help it. So if you... And I'm just going to select this and play one part of it. Now how you play one part of the sound effect is you click and you drag over that part. And then when you go up here, you notice there's a little green arrow. So if you click play, it'll start playing at that point where your cursor was. So to play a specific part of the track only, just drag over it and then move the green arrow up here at the top of it and just click. So you notice there's a little click right there. There's a little sound of it hitting something or something hitting a metal thing or whatever. So I'm just going to highlight or select that and cut it out. So let's play. So there was some shuffling right here. I'm just going to trim that out. And then nothing past this point was very usable, I don't think. And I'm not that worried about it. So let's just cut that out. And when that's, once that's done, I'm just going to do a quick replay and make sure I got everything right. And we've got this down on, under 9 seconds of audio, actually. So we cut out quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do, we've done most of the trimming, but now what we're going to do is cut out the background noise. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a part of the track that has the background noise and the background noise only. So it's going to be a part like this. And so if I click, go up here and click play, you notice that little green bar there is 
is, sh is the green bar is kind of shaking or whatever, and that's showing that there is some noise in the background. So what we're going to do to cut out all the background noise from this, like that little white fuzzy noise, it's very annoying, is go to Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile. And what that does is it tells our computer to look for audio like this, like this fuzzy background noise throughout the whole sound effect. And so when we click over here to select the whole sound effect, click Effect, Noise Reduction, and when we click OK, it's going to remove all of that kind of sound effect that we told it to get the profile of. So, I hope I explained that okay, but I'm just going to click OK. And once it's done that, it did a pretty good job, it looks like, of removing the audio. <laughs> So at this point, the sound effect is looking pretty good, but we actually, I personally don't need this many oinks. If you do, that's cool, but what I'm going to do now from this part, again, it's in the concept, record more than you need. Because some of these oinks, they're okay, but they're not the best oinks. So now we're just going to cut out the bad oinks and leave the best of the oinks, since I don't really need this many. So let's just go ahead and hit play and find the best and cut out the worst, just so we have the very best in the sound effect. <laughs> And one thing I'm going to do real quick, I think I just, this right here, I'm just going to cut that out. It's a little annoying sound. Okay, so, this one right here, there was something in the background, I think. So I'm just going to trim that one out. And this one, too, I think it's something in the background. Let me play it. Yeah, it was just some, it's almost like a scraping noise or something. And that, this one doesn't sound very good. And this one right here, you notice they're very close together. And so let me zoom in on that. So what you can do, if you have two sound effects like that and you want a little bit of, of gap of gap in between them, what you can do is actually add some silence. So I'm going to click like right here where there's the most silent point. And I'm going to generate, I'm going to create a gap in between them so it's not so fast, the two points together. So I'm going to click silence. And you notice we have some important numbers here. We can generate hours of silence, minutes of silence, and seconds of silence. But we don't even want a whole second of silence. So what you're going to do, make sure all these are set by zero, at zero by clicking on them, just pressing zero. And then click on this one right here after the period and just press two. And it's going to generate 0.2 or one fifth of a second. Just click OK. And now add some silence. So if I zoom out and click play. It doesn't sound very good, and it didn't sound very good before, even so. So, again, we have enough that we can just trim that out. And if I'm not really sure how you would fix it up. I don't know if it's possible to fix that up very well, because it's just kind of... It kind of got messed up in the editing progress. So, process, so I'm just going to cut that out. So, at this point, I think we have a pretty good amount of oinks, and they seem to be good quality. So, I'm just going to trim that silence right there. Trim a little bit right here. Just trim a little bit right there. I'm, I'm going to hit play, make sure this looks good. <laughs> and that's pretty good. So there's a lot of checking for bugs and errors in your sound effect. So I think this is good if, if you want to mess around with it again, so a little bit more you can. One thing I like to do, though, is actually convert this mono audio to stereo audio. And you can go and Google what's the difference, but I like the stereo audio better. And it seems to be com more commercially usable, at least on the site where I've put up some sound effects. So to do that, I'm just going to select the whole track by clicking right here and press on the keyboard Control c or go to Edit, Copy That. Then I'm going to go to Tracks, Add New, Stereo Track. And I'm going to go, you can go to Edit, Paste, or just Control v on the keyboard. And then just going to close that one. And so this is Stereo Audio. And so now what I'm going to do is just export it. So it can be used as a WAV file. So I'm just going to go where my sound effects are. And I could just export this as type in a name. And you have several different formats. I just generally use the MP3. Unless it's going to be in a game or something. Which OGG or OGG is generally the format that's used. So I'm just going to click save. And it's just going to put this. I'm not going to fill in any of those fields. Because I'm not really that worried about it. But that's how you do it guys. Again. I don't know if I did the best job of teaching you guys, but this is just an introduction video. And some of the future videos, I'm going to do, get into some new things if I ever do them. Like, you can 
some as you see there's a bunch of ways to edit your audio for example you can change a pitch to sound like a different person you can change the tempo to make the audio go by faster or you can add some echo or some reverb and some stuff like that so i plan on doing some future videos and eventually want to get into some other categories like 3d modeling and coding and stuff like that but this is just our first tutorial so i'd like to hear what you guys think and meanwhile be sure to subscribe and if you're interested you can go check out our pages to join our game crew and to help us out if you want to and be sure to leave a like and a comment if you have any questions i'd love to hear them so thank you for watching this video and i look forward to hearing from you